I'm your moderator, Christiana Kunanen, international inspirational speaker, who is also a writer, an entrepreneur, a food explorer, expressive artist, and model. Hi, I'm Daniela Bloom. I'm today's free-thinking psychotherapist living right here on La La Land. I stand for the United States of America, free thinking, accountability, personal responsibility, and grace. My name is Vince Bracey, representing the Bronx, New York. Uh, they call me the hardest worker man in showbiz because I host so many different types of events all over the world, but I'm also a global speaker and life of the party. Hello guys, it's Jovan, and you know what time it is? I would love to know more about if there's a, sp a key specific moment that has shaped a life mission for you of what What's the reason why you're out there speaking about what it is that matters to you? Yes. I've always loved our country, mm -hmm. but I was questioning a lot why I was only hearing a pretty animated side of things without enough nuance to another perspective. As a psychotherapist, I like to see all perspectives. It started me on a path of free thinking and nuance because I think our country is a lot more connected than the media portrays us to be. There's so much more common ground, and we just need those opportunities for real conversations. Mm, absolutely. Sounds like you're opening the veil to, to allow for exploration. Yeah. Hi. Okay. And for understanding. Absolutely. Well, really wonderful. And Vince, if you don't mind sharing as well. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I would say uh, the thing that sparked me into speaking and sharing my message is mainly just my appreciation for life as a whole. I really... I am McLovin. I enjoy life. I enjoy being here and waking up every single day. Uh, but also, again, growing up in the Bronx, New York, uh, being faced with, uh, you know, so many issues, specifically having to lose family members or even coming close to you know, having near-death experiences myself. I only get to do this one time, and why not do it as best as you possibly can, uh, achieve as much as you possibly can achieve, and uh, inspire others to do the same. Mm. That's so beautiful. I really appreciate you sharing that beauty of what life means and to go after it. Speaking of that, is there any core message, or if you were to wrap up your wisdom, that would be a slogan sharing to people. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, don't be afraid to get curious and ask questions. Uh oh. What are you gonna do? And understand that with grace, people are not villains. People are not one dimensional. We can't be afraid of the other. We are on the same team. Uh, what's, uh, what's the best kind of firework to buy? Wouldn't you like to know, weather boy? Powerful, very powerful. I love that. We're absolutely on the same team. I absolutely. love that. Uh, yeah, mine, mine is literally party for life. I've partied <laughs> for a living for the last 10, 15 years. Uh, and what greater gift is there than the gift of life? So again, you only get to do it one time. So please enjoy yourself as much as you possibly can. Embrace all the little wins that you get. Some people don't celebrate the, oh, I got a job, or they made my coffee right, they said my name right for once, you know? Things like that are things that we don't uh, always throw a huge celebration for, but life is going to be hard. So why not embrace the things that make you feel good about living life every day? <laughs> So I hear openness and positivity are these key messages that you all are spreading. Uh, when we think about those who we would love to impact and be on the other end of receiving this, this message, who comes to mind and why does that person resonate for you? Um, I am reaching the frustrated Americans who, <laughs> who are so tired of the polarization the family estrangement, the cancel culture, because they're feeling it in their own families. If we can't even, I'd like to get us back to a place where we can ag agree to disagree and still like each other. Chill, dude. Chill, I'm boiling some eggs over here. That's we great. Got a Just... lot of time to hang out. And there's so much more that we need to be discussing that matter to all Americans. 
Um, every American has been touched one way or another with divorce, with children, with the challenges of sometimes raising children in this generation, with dating, with um, you know intimacy. These are a human universal issues that if we can talk about them again without the politics, without a woke agenda, uh, that's what I'm here for. And that that's what's needed. I was called the, uh, the free thinkers Oprah, which is the biggest compliment of all. The, three, the free thinkers Oprah, Oprah without a woke agenda. And it's, um, it's a big deal today because it's what's needed. Mm. Such an advocate for dialogue. Perfect. Absolutely. And for you, Vince. I love that. You know, I was once called the Black Seacrest. That's what they <laughs> My rhymes are fly. My beats are sick. My crew is... <laughs> Put another. All right. Uh, yeah, I would say that I speak to young black men because that's who I identify with most, obviously. Uh, you know, anyone that I've worked with has told me, oh, this is, I need you to speak to my sons. I need, this, this is what they mm -hmm. need to hear, uh, which I really, really appreciate uh, because that is exactly where I come from again. But I would say my ideal audience is anyone that's a dreamer, anyone that wants to be an entrepreneur, anyone that has a hobby that they want to go after and just need a little extra push achieving that dream or even having someone inspire them enough to, oh, you can do it. Sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be sh Just a little push is all some people need. So dreamers, visionaries are all people that want to go after the dream and party for life. That's, that's what I want to speak to. Incredible, it sounds like you're such an incredible cheerleader for people. I know we couldn't Skype tonight, but that's all right. No, thanks so much for your answer. It really sounds like cheerleading is a really huge part of what you're sharing and also connecting with others. And especially since we're connecting with people online and those who are tuning in, uh, would love to get one specific piece of advice from both of you, just sharing something that would inspire aspiring speakers. Yes. Well, we don't even know what's gonna happen next year. So my advice would be, Go big or go home. Get back on track to what your full potential is in life and love. Don't wait on the other because you're going to be waiting a long time. When you can take responsibility and direction for where you want to go and you clean that filter and you clear where it is that you want to manifest, you have the power. You have the power to bring that to you. And I think people forget just how powerful they are because they're so consumed in what the other's doing or not doing. I wanna bring the power back to people again in life, love, relationships, goals, whatever it is, you're a lot more powerful than you know. You give a poor man a fish and you feed him for a day. <laughs> you t Beautiful. Clarity, alignment leads to power. How about you, Vince? Oh yes, I second all of that, first off. <laughs> Yeah, really, really enjoyed that. Uh, I would say my piece of advice for new speakers is to try to be authentically yourself. Uh, be authentically, as authentically you as you possibly can be. Oh my. Uh, go with the flow. A lot of stuff in this realm, I would say, is very intense and, uh, you know, Hollywood with the cameras and the lights and stuff. So people tend to feel like, oh, I have to fall into this frame or I have to act like this or behave like this. Uh, I don't think you're gonna get necessarily too far if you stray away from who you are as a person. Oh, it is please. what it is. It is, it is what it is. Uh, if you remain as you as you possibly can, your message will feel better when you're spreading it and uh, people will relate to you a lot more. Authenticity is key. That's right. No, I really appreciate you both sharing and would love to find ways for us to stay connected. <laughs> <laughs>